Hi, I'm, I'm Michelle Avery and I work with a small biotech company called Summit Therapeutics. So we're working on a protein that's very similar to dystrophin. It's called eutrophin. Um, and so these proteins look and act a lot alike, but they do so at a different time. And so eutrophin is actually present when a muscle is first forming or when it's repairing, but then for whatever reason, it's turned off and dystrophin comes on to take its place. Now this is still in place in the boys with DMD, so they actually have a lot of eutrophin being made as the muscles are repairing, but they also still have the signal to turn it off. Um, and so what we're trying to do is trying to keep that eutrophin turned on so that as the muscles mature, they can have eutrophin in the place of dystrophin. Right now, our development program, you know, we're considering it a, a global program. Um, U.S., just regulatory-wise, U.S. is usually comes along first and, and more rapidly than other countries. Um, but we actually have a collaboration with Sarapta Therapeutics for Europe. Uh, so we're really excited about that. They're doing, um, you know, they're going to do a great job with this collaboration. They've had a lot of experience in DMD so far. So we're really excited to use their expertise. Uh, and they will be taking over in Europe uh, and potentially Latin America as well. There's some countries in Latin America that they have the option to sell our drug in. We believe that eutrophin can replace dystrophin, and this is based on a lot of work that we've done in, in mice where we've seen that, that these mice can look much like normal when they have eutrophin in the place of dystrophin. Um, and eutrophin itself is just a little bit smaller than dystrophin. Um, it, it is missing a couple of different binding domains, but what we know from studies with patients with Becker's is that if they're missing the part of dystrophin, that is missing in eutrophin, these, these patients seem to do pretty well. So that's encouraging that you don't necessarily need all of the parts of dystrophin in order to have a more normal muscle function. Um, it's very exciting work. Uh, we're hoping, this is like I said, we're in the, the first trial that lets us know whether or not this has a chance to work in, in patients and we're really, really hopeful. But. It, it seems like it makes sense from a scientific pers perspective.